If you're making a project that requires a wide board, say you're making a tabletop, you have two options. You can either use plywood and cut it down to whatever size you need, or you can use solid lumber, which means you're gonna have to take individual strips of wood and join them together on their edges. But the challenge with using solid lumber is that when you buy boards, they're often slightly warped or the edges may not be perfectly square. So when you try to glue them together, you don't get a perfect seam between the two. So to join these two boards together, you need to joint the edges. Jointing the edges is just a woodworky way of saying square them up. The easiest way to square up those edges is to use a dedicated tool called a jointer, but a lot of hobbyist woodworkers can't really justify the expense, not to mention the space it takes up. But a lot of us do have routers, and if you have a router table, you can edge joint on it. Even though I've shown this in other videos, I thought it'd be nice to have a mere mini specifically about this procedure. The only trick here is that you need the left side of your fence to stick out slightly ahead of your right side of your fence. I have a split fence system on mine that I can remove and just put in a couple of washers as spacers. This will shim it up. If you don't have a split fence, you can just clamp on a thin strip of plywood to the left side. I put a straight bit into my router and I've raised it up slightly above the thickness of the wood. Now I can bring my fence forward to where the left fence is in line with the cutting blade. I'll just use a straight edge to check it. The key to getting a good square cut is the method you use to push the board through the router bit. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on this right side just to get it started. But once the board is through the router bit, I'm going to transfer all of my pressure to the left side fence and keep it here throughout the rest of the cut. And it gives me a perfectly square edge. And usually you're only going to joint one edge of a board. If you need the board to be parallel, you can't just flip it around and joint the other side. What you need to do is take that jointed edge and run it along your rip fence of your table saw. And that'll make sure that the other side is perfectly parallel with it. And once these are glued together, that seam will be practically invisible. 